ladies and gentlemen, man, back again for the second time around, man, this, like I said, when people come back for the second time, they basically like family, and it's like a brother from another mother, they always busy doing something, great, something new, and doing some amazing things out here, man, round of applause, actor, Antoine Harris, man. come on, man. Yes, we're glad to have you. Thank you. Thank you for having me back on the show with y'all. Yes, sir. Yes, definitely. Like, we're glad to have you back. And we want to right, go right into, you know, just you giving us a quick rundown of who you are, who's Mr. Antoine Harris. Oh, um, Antoine Harris is, a, is an American actor, um, born and raised in, in Rochester, New York, from Rochester, New York. Um, I went to high school in, in South Florida, had a full scholarship to the University of Southern Mississippi, played football there, relocated here to Houston, Texas, got bit by the acting bug. And I've been I've been acting for about 15 years now. I, re I recently just finished acting on um, the TV series with Tyler Perry on Roofless. I did uh, season six, episode two and three. And then um, I did a, a, a feature film with Jannard Harper by the name of Twisted Justice. I was the leading male in that. And um, I got I got a few different projects that's out there. So that's who I am. And um, I'm sticking to it. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir, man. And we, we definitely will be talking about, you know, the projects that you've been in. And, of course, we'll be talking about the film festival. But, yes. um, but yeah, man. So, but besides all that, man, you know, um, I forgot that you did say that you are from, you know, you from from New York, man. I forgot about that, bro. How how was it growing up in in New York and everything, man? Ooh, it was it was uh, it had up, it's ups and downs, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm yeah. from I'm from upstate New York, so you know, I'm in from the heart of it. You know, yeah. uh, I lost I lost my my best friend, one of my best mm -hmm. friends as a as a young child um to to gun violence you know um, he got murdered in his home and um after that my eighth grade year i, I relocated to south florida with my father yeah. and, and his side of the family you know um but you know I, I played sports when i was there all from youth all the way up to you know i guess you could say high school and then that's when i you know after my eighth grade year went into high school and i was in florida you know, and that was it for, for Rochester. I mean, I went back and visited a few times, but um, it's not a place that I want to go back and live. You know, I love my family, but um, they got to come see me. <laughs> <laughs> I got to come down here, man. <laughs> right. You know, right. Come out here and see me. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about, bro. Yeah. I know it. Um, when I visited New York uh, to model a few times, like when I went the first time I was there for a short amount of time and I was like, oh, I want to go back. I want to go back. But when I was there for like a long period of time, I was so ready to come home. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And the weather, man, the weather is. Woo -woo. <laughs> yeah, that's a big difference, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's from, real weather up there. <laughs> yeah, man, to go from New York to Florida to yes. Texas, bro. You, you've been through all the elements of the. Uh, yeah. Bank. To California. <laughs> I went to junior college in California, so you know, and then I left California, went to Mississippi, <laughs> and then I came here. <laughs> okay, see, Jop, he, he he's not new to the to the heat. He's not new yeah. to the humidity. Nah, he's good. Nah. I've been around the block a few times. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so you, you was perfect for the Texas weather. You know how it is. It switch up on you every day. It's all good. It's all good. Yeah, <laughs> it's all good. Yes, sir. So, so dive into the like real quick, and uh, dive into this ruthless real quick. You know, Tyler Perry, Tyler Perry Studios. Man, yeah, take us through that. Shout, shout out to Tyler Perry Studio, man. TP Studios, man. They, they, uh, they pretty much rolled out the, the the red carpet for me, man. Um, had my trailer. They had it decked out, man. I can't tell you this. It was so much food, man. They. They kept serving food. <laughs> I'm talking about from lobster to steak to shrimp to jerk chicken and oh, man, jerk pasta. Man, it was so good. And I was like, man, I'm like, hey, 
do y'all not know I'm here to to, to film? <laughs> <laughs> what is this a gathering? <laughs> <laughs> Man, they, they they really feed you well there, and um. But the whole experience was beautiful, man. Um, again, I was in the trailer, and um, I had someone that was that was pretty much showing me around. Um, and then, you know, of course, I had to go to my wardrobe and things like that, get fitted, uh, do the makeup, the hair, did the whole experience. And um, after that, um, yeah, I was on set. My time, call, my call time was like I want to say it was like two o'clock the afternoon, mm -hmm. but. I didn't end up showing up on set until about 5 a.m. I heard mm -hmm. someone knocking on my trailer door. It was like, hey, Mr. Harris, they, they want you. They want to call you down to set. And I'm like, what? I'm like, oh, hold on real quick. Let me brush my teeth. <laughs> <laughs> and so when I went out, when I finally got out there, man, there was so many lights everywhere. And it was like 300 people out there, literally. It was so many extras and stuff, man. It, it was a really big, big set. And um, we shot everything. It was, everything went really quickly. So you you have to know your lines. You know you got to be on point for that. You know, and it was no no do overs, no retakes. Mm. Um, hey, you mess up. You know <laughs> they're moving to the next one. All right, good cut, good job. Let's go. Mm. It was like you know they're, they're shooting like one hundred pages a day. <laughs> yeah, I, I cannot. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a lot. Oh, it's like yeah. boom, 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 like it's they boom, in and boom, out. Boom, boom, boom. Dang. In and out. Yeah. Like, how was that man. pressure of you know, like, did you feel pressure in in those moments where like was this different for you, or are you used to this type of um, film? Well, I'm I'm used to. Um, well, I have I have a quick memory, so. Mm -hmm. I learned my lines really quickly, so that that wasn't a really a problem for me. And it was just, you know, I was like, hey, you know, this this is big time, so do what you do. You know what I mean? I don't I have time to get nervous or or try to feel the pressure. Uh, in other words, I wasn't trying to get stuck in my head. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I'm going for a job, and I had to treat it like a job and not get, you know, starstruck or get, you know frightened because of all these bright lights and things like that i just had to you know go for what i knew so um yeah it was it was a it was a beautiful ex experience you know and um I'm, I'm hoping that they call me back for for a season seven if there is a season seven excuse me a season seven right, yeah right. well we got our fingers crossed for you <laughs> yeah absolutely <laughs> That's crazy. What's the name? Uh, Kim. Ba I don't know if you know of Kim Baptiste, but you should look her up. Oh, I sent her IG to you. She okay. works on um, Satima and me to shame okay. everybody interviewed her. And she said the same thing about Tyler Perry. Like, nah, you need to, you better come on with yeah. it. Man. Yeah, exactly. That's how you know if you've been on the set before. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and they say if they're telling you, yeah, we did about four takes. Nah, no, you didn't. <laughs> it's more like a one and done. <laughs> there is one. Yeah. So, Mr. Harris, let me ask you: um, What is the most fulfilling thing that you've done in your career? Um, the most fulfilling thing I have done. That's a good question. Um, I would say. Graduating with a mm. with a, a a degree, yeah, a absolutely. I would say that because you know some you know you hear a lot of people they'll say, well, I I graduate th with this degree, but I don't use it, yeah. right? Well, and that's that's that may be true, you know. I, I graduated with a degree, but I don't use it as as well, you know. But just knowing that you have a degree on your resume. It still opens some quite a quite a few doors for you, yeah. <laughs> you know. They know that you have some book smart, you have some experience behind you with something, you know. Mm -hmm. So I would say that, um, you know, and and yeah, I, I I think I would put that at the top of my at the top of my list. That's okay. No, I, I definitely understand because I mean sometimes. You know, life is life and people, you know, they, they'll have intentions on going to school and sometimes it's really hard to finish. So, I mean, I completely understand. And congratulations to you for, for, uh, for you know, completing your studies and getting your degree. 
Yeah, it's big, absolutely. It's big I stuff. appreciate it. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. It's, it's I mean, it's 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 tough. You know, mm-hmm. we have a lot of people that go out for it and um they can't finish. They find find themselves in um in a lot of trouble and say, "Hey, man, it's it's not for me." And it, and it's not for everyone. But mm-hmm. um but for me, you know, from my my background, I was one of the first. You know, and that means a lot, man. You know, and um at least a lot to me. And um I can I can talk to my children, you know, and relate to them. You know some of the things that they may may come across when they get to that that state in their life. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And it, it, to me, it's always about the experience over you know an an opinion. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So um, yeah, that's 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 where I am. Yeah. Well, that's, that's really dope. I have a, a bachelor's degree in health administration. I'm not in yeah. healthcare right now, but I mean, yeah. I, I I definitely understand where you're coming from. Yeah. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, that's what I'm talking about. It's funny too that you all like y'all just said that too. It's somebody who I knew that uh who got a I think it was a, a degree in some science thing, but the, but they working at GameStop. I'm like, you work at GameStop? I mean no shade. It was like you yeah. like playing video games. He said, Yeah, that degree, yeah, I'm smart as they and yeah. you know, you just talk to people and you gotta figure, oh yeah, this brother kind of smart, but okay, hey man, no, that's what you yeah. want to do. Hey, yeah. And shout out and shout out to the people that don't have the degree. That don't mean right. that don't make you less of a person. Mm-hmm. But you know, you know, it, it's not for everyone, but you know, some of us, it is. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, and I went to college for nursing and then I didn't finish. And then I went back later when it was just a little bit rough for me because I had kids, I was married. I mean, but of course, my partner definitely helped me out with complete with completion. But yeah. you know, it wasn't easy, and yeah. it's definitely yeah. once you get that degree and you work so hard, you like yeah. nights you sacrifice and stuff, and then you get that degree. I mean, you feel that fulfillment. So I definitely understand where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, sir, man. So and you know what? And like I said, this is like Antron's second time around. And so this this man been busy, man, since since the last time we had him on. Uh, my BFF, um, <laughs> man, you had so many other films and Dirty Thirty, and now Dirty Thirty, yeah, yeah Dirty Thirty, yeah. just keep on coming, man. And now you know, uh, Twisted Justice. Shout out to Denard Harper. Yeah. And, you know, yeah. Tell us a little bit about that film because y'all, y'all been breaking in some numbers for that one too. Man, shout out to Jay Harper, man. Jannar Harper, Jay Harper Films, man. That's a that that guy is a dope individual, man. Um, <laughs> you know, we we talked about it. I remember when he first, when I actually I showed up on another set just to support and just to you know be nosy, sneak around, snoop around, <laughs> and he was there. I didn't know he was going to be there, and. Right. Um, we just started chopping it up, man. And he was like, hey, man, you know, I'm writing this film and I actually have you in mind for it. I was like, OK, then, you know, you know, tell me about it. You know, and he um, he started explaining to me, you know, what he had down and stuff. And I was like, oh, sign me up, man. I'm with it. Mm-hmm. And uh, I want to say a couple of years later, man, he, you know, he hit me up and he was like, man, the budget is in place. Let's go ahead and make it do what it do. And uh, yeah. We end up shooting that man, and uh, that was a that was another wonderful experience, man. Everybody from the cast and the crew, that was one of the biggest independent um, uh, sets that I've been on. Yeah. You know, I think that was like a eighteen man crew, I believe, and it's probably like us. I, I want to say it was like six leads. Was it six leads? Two. Three. No, I'm sorry, it was three leads, yeah. uh, <laughs> and then we had like a few other. A few, a few other, um, you know, supporting cast, you know, su- supporting cast members, but um, yeah, man, they, 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 they did a thing, man. Very professional, you know. Mm-hmm. Highly recommend them, man, to anyone, man. So, uh, yeah, um, cater to you. I mean, you pulling up to the set, and you know, they mm-hmm. just want to know how can they help you carrying your bags for you. I'm like, man, I'm a guy, man. I got my stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, man. Jamar, I'm always nah, joking around messing with you, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. But um, it, it's all good, man. It's all love, man. And uh, it, it, I will say, Janard and his crew was the first one that I will I will always jump and say yes to, and uh, with working with, man. Yeah, absolutely. 
Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Well, let me ask you this. All Out right. of all the roles that you played, what was your favorite? Ooh. <laughs> okay. It hasn't dropped yet. It hasn't dropped yet. It, it actually is called um, Indwellers. Mm. It's, yeah, it's called Indwellers. Um, it's going to drop, I want to say, on Halloween, actually. It's a horror oh. film. Yep. It was my very first horror film, and it's going to be on the All Black channel. And oh, I actually played the Indweller. Yeah, man. I actually played the Indweller. I, I was this monster, like this wolf, wolf yeah. man with no lines. But I lived in, I live inside of these walls of a house that used to be my house. And they thought people, you know, died or moved off or whatever. But I actually live inside the walls. And then um, this couple, newlyweds, they just moved into the home. And then they start seeing stuff missing and, and things moved and replaced or, or put somewhere that they didn't place it. And, you know, and then later on in the film, you see me in, end up uh, revealing myself and, you know, I pretty much try to take the family out, man. So it, that was a really dope role. Um, I could see it being an iconic and iconic role, man. So we're going to see, though, October 31st, man, that should be dropping. Look for Indwellers. Yeah. Tell them what they can look at, look for it again. On the All Black channel. Mm. Yeah. That's a great yeah. channel. That's that's a great channel to be a part of, man. We're going to yes. go ahead and add you to the monster list, bro, with Jason and Frank. Yeah. And yeah. And yeah. That's dope, man. Hey, Bye. bro. <laughs> uh, Candyman. I won't say his name too many times. Candyman, yeah. Stop. Uh, but, but you know what? Right the there. crazy part, the crazy part about it, you may laugh at me. Yeah. You know what? Uh, you can't laugh, but you know what? You, you guys can laugh. You can laugh. <laughs> it, it, I'm kind of embarrassed to even say this. Yeah. Like, I've always been like horrified of or just scared of yeah. of, of horror movies. Like yeah. Thriller. Thriller yeah. was Michael Jackson Thriller. Oh, like man. I love watching Michael Jackson, but it used to scare the crap out of me when I was a youngster. You know. <laughs> hey, bro, mm, mm, mm. I'm right there with you. I'm sitting over there trying to make the dog on zombie <laughs> film. And I'm like, man, shut up, nigga, no, bro. Y'all, get too old. <laughs> so, uh, and I can't believe that I actually did it. <laughs> and when they showed me some playbacks, I'm like, oh, that's me. They're like, yeah, that's you. <laughs> oh yeah. So yeah, are you gonna watch it? Yeah, I'm gonna watch it. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Yeah, man. Is this gonna be the one film that you do, and you'd be like, "Okay, I did it. I I did it, but I'm not watching it." But you know, the thing about it has so much fun. I do it again. But yeah. I just, yeah, just sitting there watching it. Yeah, yeah it, it scares me. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> I can I just sit here and say that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You watching that one alone or with people? No, nah, I got to watch it with people. I'm not watching it alone. <laughs> no, no, this is not happening. No, no, no. <laughs> so like, it's really yeah. scary. You giving off? It's really scary. I'm, I'm no, I'm just scary when it comes to stuff like that. You know, yeah. it's not that's not me. Like, I, I can sit. It was one movie. What was that other movie that just came out? I think it was on uh, Lee Daniels movie. Oh yeah, I know you're talking about. You guys saw that? Did you see that? I know you're talking about. I can't think of the name of it right now. Deliverance. Uh, Deliverance. Deliverance. I believe it's called Deliverance. Deliverance. Man, yeah. bro. You know, and I should have known just by the title. Yeah. You know. <laughs> but dude, when I sat there and I was watching, yeah, I was like, I felt my heart start started to speed up. <laughs> <laughs> And then literally my I felt my lungs shaking in my chest. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, man, man. yeah I, I cut the movie off. I did. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm not trying to make y'all laugh. I'm telling the truth though. Well, look, you're brave. You you more brave than me because I didn't even watch it. I was like, uh oh, no, nah. the title had me. I was like, mm. Uh -huh. And they had that little boy, he crawled up the wall backwards. I was like, oh, no, click, it's off. <laughs> 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 nah, see, man, nah, you good? Like, I'm nah. Good. If I want a scary movie, I do that whole little stick yeah. movie with kids. Keep the lights on. 
Yeah. All you like, watch some cartoons before I go to sleep. Nah, man. I can't. Yeah. yeah. That, that that sometimes yeah. help, right? Watch something yeah. funny or whatever. Yeah, then. Try, you try to. But, you know, literally, after I watched it, and then I cut it off after it had like 30 minutes left. I was like, that's that's too much. That's it. I literally, I literally got on my knees and prayed. That's exactly yeah, what I'm going serious. I did. I started praying, bro. Yeah, for real. <laughs> like, I said, God, forgive me for, for watching this. I won't watch it again, I promise. Just don't let me have a nightmare, bro. <laughs> <laughs> See over there laughing at me, bro. <laughs> hey, I'm just as scary. I'm laughing with you. We together on this one because I'm scary. I do not like watching scary movies. You know what? Us black people are scary for real. <laughs> hey, we don't fight anybody, but we is not standing around for nothing scary. I'm telling you, let let hey, let us let us all be walking in a group. One of us break off and start running. See what everybody else in the group do. Go Everybody gonna take go. off. I promise you. <laughs> Bro, I'm, you. I'm gone. That's gonna be like we, track star for real. Breathing hard when we finally get there. What we running for, dog? <laughs> hey, job and in heels and in heels. I can run in heels. It don't matter what kind of shoes I have on. I'm yeah. gone. Yeah. And if that yeah. if that light switch not next to the door when I open it, I'm not going in. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not going in. No, can't do it. <laughs> I can't do it. Yeah, yeah. Go, go ahead with the <laughs> next question, Tasha. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, I got us off topic. I'm sorry. No, you're good, that's, a, that's a real topic to have because that's but, a real moment. I'm not going. No, I'm not doing yeah, it's not happening. So, um, you have a birthday coming up. Any plans? I do. Yes. Um. So. My birthday is October 5th, and of course, we're having our, our Bite for Film Festival um, October 3rd through the 6th, so it's going to be during my birthday. So I didn't want the two to clash, so I set the, birth, the birthday party the following weekend on October 12th. Matter of fact, I'm going to invite you and the whole crew, you two and the whole crew, to come to the party. Now, look, this is the thing, though. It's a catch. Okay. When you show up to the party, you got two options. Okay. You either can show up dressed in the 80s, from the 80s, or you can dress like you're from the 90s. That's it. I don't want to see 2000, 2005, 10, 20, none, uh-uh. It got to okay, be from okay. the 80s or the 90s. And I'm playing nothing but 80s and 90s music and get ready for the Soul Train line because that's what we're doing. So, okay. you, you guys, you want to, you down? Definitely. You down? Cool. <laughs> Yeah, cool. Now, let me get. Let me. And, go it's gonna be, it's, and see, I'm about to let y'all in on something too. It's gonna be seafood everywhere. So, <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. I, your boy loves Listen, seafood. So. I'm scared of the soul chain line. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna have a good time though. <laughs> you ever seen somebody just walk right through it? Like, okay, I'm just walking. Yeah, <laughs> it's gonna be me. Yeah. Man, I had so many people hitting me up. They're like, man, I already got my outfit. I'm putting it together. I got my wig. I'm like, what? <laughs> oh, man. I said, man, what I did. <laughs> I think I started something, man. I think I started you something. <laughs> definitely did. That's good, man. Yeah. You know, wrong with harmless fun, man. In the eighties and nineties, man. Yeah. That's what was that. That was that was one of the best. If every time we think about music in that area, like that's one of the best, yes. best mm -hmm. times. Yes. Yeah, so hey, why not go back in time for a little bit? At least for a night, we could revisit. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. But we gotta leave it all there on the floor, though. That's it. Just leave it there on the floor. <laughs> then you can go home. Make sure y'all <laughs> for everybody going to the party. Make sure y'all get a nap. And stretch. Yeah, yeah. Get you a good night rest because it's going down October twelfth. <laughs> the, the 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 address is disclosed right now, but I will send you guys the invite and the information. You know, and um, we're gonna we're gonna show out. I told my parents, I was like, this night, this may not be for y'all. Not this one. <laughs> 
they need to come before the party start and drop off their presents and some cake, you know. Yeah. Y'all come yeah. before the party start. Look, I, I, I'll save you a slice of cake. It's going to be good. There you go. There you go, Mama Dad. Man, yeah. I'm you know it's going to be a party when the parents not invited. Oh. Yeah. Turn it up. Turn it up, man. Let's talk about the the film festivals, man. Like the is it Bifa? Is it Bifa how you pronounce it? By, by foot. By black foot. yeah, black independent filmmakers association. That's yeah. what it stands for. Um it originated in uh this past November, or well, November 2023. That's when we started it. Um I'm the president. Um then I have uh Mr. Mr. Thomas Carter. He's the uh, he's the CEO. He's the CEO. He's the founder. Um, yeah, so it's going to be October third through October sixth. It's our first annual. We're bringing it right here to Houston, Texas. Um, we're here to stay. You know, um, the first night we're going to do the red carpet. Um, you know, meet and greet people. Is going to be you know from all over just coming in and just you know just networking. We're going to have finger food. Uh, we're going to have a little fashion show. And um, you know, and then we're gonna have some awards for some of the local actors that's really digging into the craft here in Houston, you know. And then uh, on the fourth and fifth, we're gonna have the actors panel, and then we're gonna have a directors panel. I'm actually the moderator for the actors panel, and then um, we have the African panel as well. And another thing, we we're, we're bridging the gap between America and Africa. So mm -hmm. we have an African connection with Nigeria. They're going to be in the house as well, as well as Asia too. So China, excuse me, China. So uh, they're they're on our board as well. So we we we're we're making some some great connections. And then on six on October sixth, we're we're going to do our our Bifa staircase award ceremony it's a gala and uh we're giving out about 29 different world uh well, worlds <laughs> awards and um we i mean from you guys know who nephew tommy is right yeah. we have nephew tommy yeah he's gonna be in the house accepting the award we have uh jaylene mack i believe you had jaylene mack on the show before too yeah. right yeah yeah, yeah, be, yeah matter of fact she's a part of the um the festival she's going to be doing a um a workshop she's going to have a workshop and you know she uh we, we're connected we're we're um we're um collabing with her and impact right mm -hmm. and then we have chanel brown i love her chanel brown she's i'm gonna be um giving her award as well and um um it's a contributor to to reverend lawson and his his the late Miss uh, Audrey Lawson, you know, both of them they, they passed, but you know we're gonna be giving them awards as well. But you know, just just to name a few, man, we got we got so much, man. We got African dancers um, to to um, we're gonna have some poetry that's gonna be read, yeah. uh, love letters that's gonna be read. We got music uh, selections, American Idols um, song singers gonna be there performing for us. Man, we got quite a bit that's going to be going on, man. So, yeah, we, we're trying to really uh, do something different here in the city. I think we, I think our culture actually needs this here, you know. And, um, again, we, we're here to stay. Yeah, man. Yeah. It's going to need. Yeah. It's going to be big. I know it's going to be big. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, man. I'm, I'm looking forward to it, man. And, and it's about growth, you know. Um, yeah. This is our first. This is our first one, and again, this is a nonprofit organization. So you know, um, after this year, we only expect we're expecting it to 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 grow just just to keep going. You know, the sky's mm -hmm. the limit for this. You know, I, I, there's no reason why we can't be a, a, the next Canes Fest, of, the next Canes Fest, or the mm -hmm. South by Southwest, or one of those other international festivals. You know what I mean? Because we're mm -hmm. already connecting and collabing with China and and Africa, Nigeria. You know what I mean? So mm -hmm. that's international. So there's there's no reason why we can't be um, big like them or just as big as them. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So yeah, man, Bifa, Bifa man. Film Film Festival. <laughs> Man, yeah. this is so dope and beautiful that you're doing this. And, and I agree with you because, you know, we always hear about 
all these different film festivals, like the Sundance, the the American Black Film Festivals, and you know, yes. Miami, all of them. But it's dope to have yes. something for your own in, in your backyard. So thank yes. you yes. team for doing it. Oh yeah, oh yeah, absolutely. We need it. We all got to come together, man. Support each other. That's what I tell. I tell uh, a lot of people that I come across. I said, man, you have you have Atlanta that's out there. We all see what Atlanta is doing. Atlanta is supporting Atlanta. You know what I mean? You have you have Louisiana, pretty much in our backyard. They're supporting Louisiana. You have mm -hmm. California, that's LA. That, that's that's LA. It speaks for itself, right? But then mm -hmm. we have Houston. You know, I'm like man. We need to support Houston. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. yeah. We have the oil and gas here. We have the music here, which is great. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, we're known to be a commercial market, which is great. But yeah. uh, we have so much talent here. Mm -hmm. and, a lot of, and actually, a lot of our talent <clears throat> has left Houston and went to Atlanta, went to... to um, LA went to these different markets to make a name for themselves and they did well, you know what I mean? But if we have so much talent here, why not keep us all here and make a big pot of gumbo? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Exactly. And uh and uh and, and help each other um uh, uh continue to grow and, and go upward, you know what I mean? Reach back, yeah. pulling the next man up, not pushing them down, but pulling them up. You know, mm -hmm. it's lonely at the top. <laughs> it's lonely at the top. And then reaching back to our to the next generation. So this is what life is about. Reaching back to the next generation and building them up. Building up the next filmmakers. You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. you never know. I mean, we're all in the entertainment business, but our next job can come from a youngster. Honestly, yeah. you know what I mean? <laughs> so right. building them up. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. and it's crazy that you say that too, because I mean, I don't know if you was paying attention, but me and a few people from Houston went to Chicago for mm -hmm. uh, for Actors Summit, and oh, okay, uh, okay. One, one of the actors, well known actors, James Dumont, he's been on like a handful of things, and he was saying that uh, you know, do those short films and do those independent films because like how you were saying, one of the people gonna be your boss uh soon yeah. to give you and be the one to determine to give you yeah. a job for a film, so. Yeah, you're absolutely right. You're absolutely yeah. right. Yeah. It's definitely true, man. It's yeah. true. I mean, we have, like you said, we have enough talent here. We have enough talent here to to suffice. We could definitely be the next Hollywood or, you know, yeah. whatnot. Um, there's a lot of people moving here. Um, mm -hmm. There's a lot of different opportunities. So if we we just absolutely. need to just find a way just to, you know, something to bring us together like what you're doing. That's, I mean, that's perfect. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, why not? We got six. What, what is it? I think about six million people here. Hmm. <laughs> and growing. <laughs> right. Why don't we have a major studio here? <laughs> Seriously. That's a good question, right? Yeah. right. We have the why, space. Why, why, right. Why is the tax break so low? You yeah. know what I mean? That, that I, we that. have everything here. I mean, you you mm -hmm. have these major concerts that come here. Beyonce, this city, this is Beyonce city. She was yeah. raised here. You Pretty know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. And you have, uh, you know, Drake come here. He's in and out. I think he probably moved here now. You yeah. know what I mean? You had the Astro Dome, <laughs> right? I was just just about to say that. They just sitting there collecting yeah. dust. Why we can't get nobody mm -hmm. to knock that down and build up something right there, man? Exactly. Yeah. exactly. Exactly. Let me um also ask you, you know, we all have our highs and our lows in our career, you know, or in life and just kind of dealt with different things like imposter syndrome and stuff like that. Like how do you navigate through the obstacles that you that you come face to face with? Um I don't quit. Um I, I, I live by something that I tell people all the time. And sometimes I post it. If you go digging, you'll, you'll see it. I always tell people, if you don't quit, you'll win. But if you quit, you'll never win. It'll never happen. That's that's for sure. That's for certain. It'll never happen. Mm -hmm. And that's something I go day to day by. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, you're going to have your downs. You're going to have your lows. But when you are when you find yourself on, a back, on your back, just look up. Because you can't go any lower. 
<laughs> you only could go up. <laughs> yes. So, so that's how I move. Yeah, that's how I move. And, and you know, I never, I, I never look at the next man's plate and see how much he have over there because mm. I don't know what he did to get all of that. I didn't. I don't know what he had to sacrifice or what he had to go through in order to receive what he had. I don't hate on the next man. In order to see success, you have to be happy for the next man's success. That's what I believe. You know what I mean? Um, if I see another man in a film and he's doing he's doing well, you know, I'm I'm gonna yeah, I get behind him, man. Man, go for it. You know what I'm saying? You can do it, man. You, you, yeah. I'm, I'm rooting for you. You know what I'm saying? And so I'm always happy for the next man's success. And um, yeah, that's 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 me. That's that's just me, man. I don't, I don't, I don't hate on anyone else, man. I, I focus on what I have and 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 the tasks in front of me. And um, if if you don't fail, how can you learn? Yeah. Right. Yeah. And so. Um, people, you know, sometimes I think people look at failure as a bad thing and really it's not, it's, it's a, it's a, it's a learning, it's a learning tool to me. It's a learning tool, you know, cause now I know what not to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like playing mm -hmm. a video game. I can't go on to the next board until I pass this one right here. Like I remember, I remember when I was real young, you, you guys remember like N Nintendo, Nintendo 64 yeah. and all that yeah. stuff, right? Yeah. yeah, I remember uh, playing the Mario Brothers. <laughs> that was one of my favorite games, you know. Yeah. And, uh, man, I always wanted to try to win Princess in every stage. <laughs> yeah. Every stage, you know, you're like, man, I'm a step closer. And I hear my mom call him, not yet, mom. Hold on, I gotta beat this. I gotta beat Brawl <laughs> this time. And Brawl's knocking me across the head, and I lose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But you know, I keep going though. You know what yeah. I'm saying? This, I feel it's always a lesson in everything. It just you gotta open up your eyes and really see it and take it in. You know, and that's that's me. That's me all day. That's how I move. You know. So, that's like, where me. did this resilience come from? If you don't mind me asking. Oh yeah, no. Um, I get a lot of it from my mother. Um, mm -hmm. my older sister. I have an older sister. Um. I have a lot of women in my family. A lot, some of them, they, they went on, you know, um, my grandmother, you know, they passed on a lot of wisdom. I used to always just soak up a lot of knowledge from them and just see how they move. And, you know, my father as well, you know, yes. um, and I, I, I like to learn from other people mistakes. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Cause I, I don't like pain. I'll mm -hmm. tell you that right now. I don't like pain. So if I see you get burnt by that iron, I'm like, whoo, I know that's hot. <laughs> It's better you than that than me, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> I know not oh. it, though. <laughs> seriously though, because some people yeah. like in some situations, <laughs> like you can tell them what's gonna happen, and they just like I gotta see for myself. Like I gotta, I gotta go through it. Yeah. I gotta see for myself. So exactly. people do not want to learn from other people's mistakes, like at right. all. Right. And I'm like, nah, I'm good. I don't need to go see. I, <laughs> I see how you looking. You got a whole bunch of hickeys on your head, man. I'm good. No, I'm good. I'm good over here, bro. I'm good, bro. <laughs> <laughs> how long did that take the hill? I'm good. <laughs> man, Antron, man, greatly appreciated for the, the gems, for yeah, you know, sharing your man. experience from being no, in front of the camera, behind the camera, your experience and everything, man. Uh, tell the audience where we can find you and follow you at, brother. Oh, uh, man. Look for the blue check. Antron Harris on IG. Um, I am Antron Harris. I'm sorry. You can spell that A-N-T-R-O-N-E. Last name Harris. Uh, Facebook. I'm on Facebook as well. Antron Harris. Um, if you don't have the blue check, it's not me. Uh, I didn't believe in doing the blue check, but until I got hacked and I kept repeatedly getting hacked, I had to get the blue check. <laughs> I stopped. I stopped clicking on links when people send me stuff, and I'm thinking, you know, like, hey, you know, this is me. Check me out. I'm like, all right, what's up? What you got? Next thing I know, I'm locked out. So yeah, yeah. If they don't have a blue check. That's not me. But um, yeah, that's why I am, man. I'm not hard to find. <laughs> y'all make sure y'all get y'all tickets for the yes. 
Yes, for the Buy for Film Festival, Bye. October 3rd through October 6th. Um, mm -hmm. You can check my page. You got the Eventbrite uh, link on there. It's all over. Yeah, absolutely. Yes, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Actor, man, I'm going to say entrepreneur. King, yeah. brother, man, thank you again for joining us. Y'all stay locked in Just Acting Up show, man. Got my brother up on here, man. Thank you again, bro. Man, Thank I appreciate y'all for having me. Thank you.